In this video, I'm going to be going through how to use sklearn uh, to implement linear regression. So scikit-learn is a really powerful tool in Python uh, that's generally used to do machine learning. But it so happens to implement the most basic stuff like linear regression and then goes on to do support vector machines, etc. Right, so um, continuing on from my last video, I will have this function uh, where y is simply 2x plus 3 uh, but this time I'm going to be go going to be adding some noise right uh, the noise is just uh, it's, it's actually quite small in this case right uh, so when you when you look at the, this thing you can see a straight line just by looking at it but at the same time it is a little bit noisy to say it is not just a straight line Okay, so let's just go through this and see how we how we can fit uh, a straight line with scikit-learn. So before I imported from sklearn.linear model, I imported linear regression. Okay, so this is the, the most important part. Uh, but once I do that, all I had to do is say model is equal to linear regression. And this is a little trick with uh, most sklearn things. All you have to do is go model.fit okay and keep this the, this whole dot fit thing in mind because you'll be using that over and over again in scikit learn okay so i will fit my x and y and let, let's just explore the coefficients that we get so keep in mind that the true model is two two times x plus three okay so i expect my coefficient to be somewhere near two so once I spit it out, I get 2.008, okay, that's pretty good. And then the intercept is 2.95, again, pre pretty close enough to 3. Uh, the, the best thing about the scikit-learn is that you can go model or predict. So in this case, what I'm putting in here is my x value, and then I get 43. What it's actually supposed to be is, well, it's supposed to be 43, uh, what I got was 43.12 okay um, so let's just plot this out and see see how we go all right so what I've done over here is I got a whole bunch of test values and the test values are, are in the range minus three to three and then I'm, and then I'm going to predict them uh, only thing is keep in mind that I, I need to make sure this X test thing is a two-dimensional array in, in NumPy Okay, so once I plot this out, I will end up getting this, hey, this nice straight line. Okay, let, let's just play around with this uh, uh, scikit-learn linear model for a linear regression model for a bit. So one thing you can do is you can say, uh, let's get rid of the intercept. Again, okay, so for no particular reason, just to, just to see what happens. All right, so in this case, the intercept will be strictly held down to zero. It's saying what's the best coefficient in that case that it can get. So in this case, the model coefficient is going to be 2.28. And if you happen to look at the uh, intercept, it's going to be 0. Okay, so my true uh, coefficient is 2. All right, so 2.28 is, is quite a bit off. Uh, like I would have accepted 2.05, for example, to say, okay, it's not that bad. But anyway, so if I was to predict this time, I would get 45. Uh, it's not quite near 43 that we wanted, right? And if I was to draw draw the line, let's see what happens now. Okay, so it's it's, it's a bit off, right? So it's really important that you plot, right? So in just in data exploration, just machine learning, initial thing you definitely have to do is plotting your data. Okay, so in this case you can see yes, 2.28 even though it's not doesn't seem to be that off when you do plot it yes it seems to be uh, it seems to be a bit of a gap um, let's let's ex keep exploring this whole uh, linear linear regression part so in this case what I've gone ahead and done is made it a bit more complicated the function so uh, so negative 0.5 2.2x so that's fairly straightforward but then I've gone ahead and put x cubed function Okay, so I got 0.3 x cubed. So, and then of course I'll put some noise in there as well. If I was to plot this out, let's plot this out. I will end up getting this thing. So you can see this little bit of a curve 
times it is 0.3 times x cubed, right? So uh, just sorry about that. So keep keeping uh, keep going with this. Now this time, what I really need to do is I need to I need to make um, I need to have a, a, a few features. I cannot just have x and expect uh, the, this thing to spit out x cubed coefficients, right? So I'm going to stack stack up x, x squared, x cubed, and just for the sake of it, I'm going to, I'm going to do x to the 4. You can keep going if you want, but anyway, let's, let's just stop at x to the 4. So just to remind you, uh, x dot shape is 100 by 1, but now my x new thing is going to be 100 by 4. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit my x new to the y, and if I was to look at my coefficients, you start seeing that uh, my just my x coefficient is 2.2, x squared is 0 0.09, so it's fairly close to zero, which is zero is what I really want, right? Zero, putting in a coefficient of zero is exactly the same effect as taking it out of your regression. Uh, it's close enough to zero, I'd say. And then, uh, what do we have? So I had, for my next to my x cubed value, I had 0 0.3. Do I have? Yeah. So 0.29. So that's pretty close. And to my x4, negative 0 0.05. Right. And then if I look at my, my intercept, oops, it's giving up. So my intercept was negative 0.5 from memory. Yep, yeah, negative 0.5. And then I got negative 0.76. Okay, so let's plot this again. Let's plot this line, and then we end up getting that. Okay, so against the data, we end up get it, getting this fairly decent fit. All right. Um, now, if you go back over here, it's it's kind of it's going to be a bit tedious for me to keep typing in x x squared x cubed x to the four. So Scikit Learn has got this uh, pretty nifty little feature called polynomial features. Okay, so what it does is, uh, okay, so it's going to transform this x into uh, into what what I did before. Okay, so I don't have to manually do it. So all you have to do is from scikit-learn.preprocessing import polynomial features. Okay, and then I'm going to say the degree is four, and that's the power of x you want to take it up to. I said include bias is false. Now bias, uh, now bias just puts a set of values of one in front. Okay, and and the and the reason is that's kind of avoiding the need to do the intercept. I'll probably go through that in the, in the next tutorial, but uh, so leave that for now. So what I'm going to do is poly dot fit transform x, and uh, so let's let's just do that. I'm not entirely sure why. It, show this the first two values but um, if I if I go dot shape okay it's 100 by 4 and these 100 by 4 values are going to be exactly the same as the previous 100 that we did okay so I can I can easily go back over here and um, where is this okay so what I'm expecting is these values should not change at all Okay, so if I put an x new 2 and the model coefficients, fingers crossed they don't change and they don't. Okay, so everything is exactly the same so because all you've done is taken, taken it to the degree that you wanted. Okay, and this does it quick, pretty uh, fairly quickly for you rather than you typing it out and having to stack them like I did. Um, Okay, so I think I might stop it there before I move on to penalized regression, which will be in, the, in my next tube. So uh, if you have any questions or comments, please let, please let me know, and please do hit that subscribe button. Thank you.